Last time on Whacked. You kept me up again last night, jackass. What? I was quiet. Dude, I could hear you and some chick out here at four in the morning. Nice. I'll let her know she forgot it. This is ridiculous! I've got things to do today! Yeah, you'd have to get that too. Connie! What's up? I'm going out to lunch. I guess for you it would be breakfast. You hungry? Only for you, baby. I'm, um... Uh, I'm all set. Um, can I, uh... Uh... Maybe some other time? Yeah, another time. What the hell was that? What? Does a woman have to shove your face in her chest to show you she's interested? This isn't the vu. What? No, I, I mean, well, yeah, that does help. Look, Brad, you may be my lame-ass brother when it comes to women, but you're still the only one I talk to. Well, yeah, Tommy's dead. Hey, I'm the one passing judgment here, okay? When a beautiful young woman throws herself at you, how do you think that makes me feel? Uh, lonely? What are you talking about? I'm never lonely. Money takes care of that. That's how life works, Brad. You have money, women desire you. You? You have to work for a living. That'll get you up to about a level seven. Six if they know you too much before you ask them out. Yeah? How much of that money do you have left there, by the way? Uh, I can afford three supermodels through the end of the year, which are tens, or six fives, or five sixes, or drink enough alcohol for fifteen twos. Look, the point is, you've got an eight and a half knocking on our door asking you out to lunch. I look just like you. She should be throwing herself at me. I've got the money. Thanks for that. Uh, I've got to stop into the office. I thought you were working at home today. No, Mr. Mr. wanted to have a meeting this afternoon. Mm -mm. Mr. Mr.? What, do you work for the Human League? What? No, Human League? Are you part of the cutting crew? Cutting? Oh, 80s bands. Mr. Mr. was an yeah, 80s, 80s band. You know, I like the Dream Academy. Oh, uh, uh, Life in a Northern Town. Classic. Oh, uh, Martika? She was hot. Toy Soldiers? Uh, Madness? Our House? Uh, Laura Brannigan? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Gloria? Laura Brannigan was hot in the 80s, too. She was on Auto Man. You know she died a couple years ago? Laura Brannigan, get out! She was only like 40. Yeah, brain aneurysm. It's not on Wikipedia. You look up 80 singers on Wikipedia. They had a link to Auto Man too. No way, I love that show. I know, I uh, got to looking around eBay and I found this. Happy birthday. Oh, mint on the card. Uh, wait, when's our birthday? <laughs> Hey Hans, what's up? Not much. You coming to my match tonight? Oh yeah, that's tonight. Oh yeah, I'll be there. My brother's coming too. You know, I'm really happy you're coming, Brad. Your support means a lot to me. Brad, is that your voice I hear? Did you know it's time for the meeting? Are you ready? I know I am. See you tonight, Hans. Well, Brad, tell me. How long have you been here at PB&J anyway? About five years. Uh, if you say so. And in that time, would you think that you've been an asset to this firm? Well, yeah, I... Oh, that's excellent, Brad. We've been assessing the staff, and it's been relayed to me by the partners that there may be some restructuring necessary to accommodate the needs of the firm and our shareholders. This involves all of us, Brad. And you. Why, you mother... And that is exactly why I'm making you my assistant director of human management of things that occur here... In, in our place, in, in our division. Here, congratulations. Wow, I had no idea. What am I going to be doing? Nothing right now, are you kidding me? Except to help me cut 2% of office staff on this floor in the immediate 75-foot radius. Well, that narrows it down, I suppose. How about Hans? Do you like him? Do we even need him? I mean, he is within the 75-foot radius. I mean, we could fire him right now. Whoa, Hans? No, 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 no. Mr. Mr. Sir, this job is all he has. Trust me. If he lost his job, it would devastate him. He just found his... center. Yes, I understand. Let's fire him. Sir, that just isn't wise. Can you prove to me why this isn't wise? Huh. I think I know an excellent way to show you. How incredibly exciting. The thrill of competition in front of a captivated audience. It does remind me of prom. Five dollars for a beer is insane. You didn't buy any beer. I know, I came prepared. No thanks. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Mister. <laughs> I love that name. 
Hey, uh, care for some hair of the dog? Ah, it doesn't smell like the hair of the dog. Well, I suppose a drink before the show would probably be appropriate, and given the environment. What kind of event is this for Hans, anyway? Ping pong, perhaps ballroom dancing? You know, Hans strikes me as a man of unbelievably tremendous coordination. This is the biggest damn ballroom I've ever been in, if that's the case. No, sir. Oh, B, it's a cage. This promises to be incredibly interesting. Brad! Connie, what are you doing here? You can thank me later. Chad, I'm gonna come down on you so hard. Connie, hey! Your brother told me all about the game and invited me. It sounds like fun. Uh, Connie, it's not quite a game. Is that a cage? <laughs> oh, my word! Who is that? The opponent. Opponent? It's incredibly obvious that that man works out a lot. Do you mean to say that... Drink up, Padre. When in Rome... Brad, what's about to happen to that smiling bald man? He'll be... he'll be fine. Bring it on to me. Fight, Fight fans! This, this contest, contest is scheduled for, for three five-minute five rounds. rounds. To, to my, my left, in the, the blue corner, weighing 250 pounds, Johnny Punkwood! Bring it on to me. Bring it on to me. Bring it on to me. And in the red, red corner, corner weighing 175 pounds, maybe Hans Christian Gold! Excuse me, it's pronounced bro. Bro, prepare to eat your tears! Brad, did you invite us all to an execution? If you give Bring it on now, to me. Bring it on to me. Is he going to do anything? Bring it on to me. Bring it on to me. Bring it on to me. No! Oh dear. Sweet fancy Christmas on a popsicle stick. This is barbaric! But I'm strangely aroused. Huh? Huh? Oh! Brad, I had no idea the Rage Hans has harnessed. I think it would be best to keep his... Well, what did you call it? His center, sir. Exactly. I think it might be appropriate at this juncture to move him outside of the 75-foot radius. This fury of his may be of some use to us. Yeah, he's about to unleash some fury on the dudes. That kick was deep. Hey, sorry about your shirt. Ah, oh, that's okay. It was worth the experience. Did you give Punch Drug his tooth back yet? I gave it to his trainer. He said he'd put it back. Back in his mouth? Gross. Well, that's my bus. See you soon? Of course. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see you around. Oh, did that just happen? You gonna hit that or what? Hit that? No! Yeah, you will. Hey, me and Mr. Mister are going to some 80s club. Spandau Ballet are playing a reunion show. You wanna go? Uh, no. Thanks, I have to work tomorrow. Come on, you're management now. You know, actually, I'm afraid Brad is right. We still need to figure out who within the 75-foot radius we need to fire mercilessly. Wow, Brad, you're a monster. Firing people already. You tell mom yet? No one's fired. Yet. You have until Christmas, Brad. Let's go, Chad. Spandau Ballet awaits, and I don't want to be late. So, Mr. Mister, you ever think of renaming your company the Human League? Keep talking. Ah, uh, Christmas. Good as new!